Auzubillahiminashaitanirrajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim uh, Sometimes we get some very interesting questions from people So somebody um, probably from our neighborhood in India has raised this question that Muslims keep on telling people that um, they are their infidels like um, specific uh, question was quite harsh but uh, he was like uh, on mentioning all of the people in the world that Muslims keep on calling them infidels or non-Muslims. Why is that? First of all, Islam is a religion, is a whole code of life sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through his true final messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So it's a religion, it's a thought, it's, it's a way of thinking, way of living, way of doing things. So, so whoever agrees to that thought, whoever abides by that Sharia would be a Muslim. And anyone who does not is by his own choice a non-Muslim. So first of all, if one is choosing not to be a Muslim, why would he be offended by being called infidel or non-Muslim? They are choosing it themselves. They should take pride if they have to, frankly. Like if they have to, our dawah is not that. Our dawah, our preaching, our calling is to come to Islam because we understand logically, scientifically, technically, Ask anything, ask from any perspective, you would find Islam, the true religion sent by one God. So our preaching, our calling is to accept Islam because it is the only true religion. But if you don't by your own free will, why would you be offended by being called a non-Muslim? You are obviously not, not a Muslim. But be sure that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has very, very, very clearly mentioned in the Quran. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Qul hal nunabbiukum bil akhsarina a'amala alladheena dhalla sa'yuhum fil hayati dunya wa hum yahsabuna annahum yuhsinuna suna'a ulaika alladheena kafaru bi ayati rabbihim wa liqaih فَحَبِطَتْ أَعْمَالُهُمْ فَلَا نُقِيمُ لَهُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَزْنًا ذَلِكَ جَزَاؤُهُمْ جَهَنَّمُ بِمَا كَفَرُوا وَاتَّخَذُوا آيَاتِي وَرُسُلِي هُزُوًا That O Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Tell people that shouldn't I tell you about the person who is worst in his doings who has been who has earned the least who has been most in the loss. Those are the people whose all of the efforts have been made to go into vain, have been multiplied by zero. And those are the people who have been thinking all of their lives that they are doing the best of the deeds. Why is that? Because they were the ones who denied, who disobeyed the ayahs, the verses sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the signs sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they made fun of Allah's message the one God's message, and they made fun of Allah's messengers. That's why all of their deeds would go into vain and they would not hold any weight on the judgment day. And they are being called Ulaika Ladina Kafaru. They are being called Kafirin, and the Kafir, there is no need to take offense. Because you are, you are denying, you are not accepting. 
Kafir is the one who denies the truth. So you are. There is no need to take offense. If you are being kafir by choice, infidel, or non-Muslim by choice, then own it. But we would keep on saying, inshallah, that that's not the right choice. The right choice is Islam to accept the truth sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and bow to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who sent that truth. Then what would happen? Then you would be given the heavens and the highest place in the heaven. Because you would have accepted that you are being created, you were created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one Lord. And frankly, tell me what should happen to the person, to any creature or anything who are, who's acting like a Frankenstein, who are being, who's being a monster and the enemy of his own creator. What should happen? Even the baby that you just bring to life by Allah's will, you are only being a transport. You are only being a production place from the ingredients signed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the production machine created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even then, if that baby disobeys your order, disgraces you, it breaks your heart. It's, it's genuinely, logically, right to think that the baby is on the wrong path. What if you create something? You cannot create anything without the ingredients created by your creator. But what if, imagine, like Allah created something, He created something from non, total non-existence into existence without any ingredients, without any help of anyone, brought something from non-existence to existence. Not only that, but then fed that creator with food, with life, with relatives, with shelter, the everything that he is owning, everything that this creator is consuming, everything that he is, he or she is. Then this person goes on denying that, no, there is no Lord, no, the Billah. No, I was not created, no, the Billah. No, I can do whatever I want. No, I came from wherever I wanted and I would go wherever, wherever I, I have to. No, no, the Billah, he This person is being a Frankenstein. And such monsters, it's not us who have, who have to like uh, take revenge or like punish such people, no. It's the choice of Lord, choice of the Creator that however He deals with them. He may give them Hidayah or He may let them die without repentance. In that case, their place is fire because they were being Frankensteins. That's why. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد.